Welcome to this course on MATLAB. In this session, we'll learn what's MATLAB, why it's used, and if we open this MATLAB on our computer system, what we'll see. Let's start. What's MATLAB? MATLAB is a high-level computer language used to perform numeric computations. It's a popular tool used in several academic and research institutions around the world. What can we do in MATLAB? In MATLAB, we can do the analysis and design of the problems that arise in almost all branches of science and engineering. Therefore, there are toolboxes for almost all branches of science and engineering in MATLAB, including control system engineering, communication engineering, artificial intelligence, image processing, and so on. We can find the information about these toolboxes from the website mathworks.com. Remember, MATLAB is a commercial software. Means to acquire any toolbox, you must first purchase it from MathWorks. If MATLAB is not available, we can download Scilab from the website scilab.org. This Scilab is very similar in programming to MATLAB. Enough introduction about MATLAB. Let's see if we open this MATLAB on, in our computer. What we'll see. When we launch this MATLAB on our computer, something like this appears on our screen. We see there are small boxes on our screen. These small boxes are called windows in MATLAB. Now the first window that's visible on our screen is the command window. At the top left corner of this window, a double arrow appears. This is termed as command prompt. The user can type individual commands at the command prompt and get the results immediately. The previously executed commands can be accessed by using up and down arrow keys. So this is command window. Another window that appears on our screen is the current directory window or simply current folder. This folder stores the MATLAB, MATLAB program files that we created in the MATLAB. Another window that's visible on our screen is the workspace window. Now this window contains a list of all the variables and constants currently in use. The name, the value, the size, and its class are shown in this window. Whenever the user creates a new variable, its details are shown in the workspace window. For example, we can see two variables x and y listed there with their values. Another window that's visible on this screen is the command history window. This window lists all the commands used since the launch of the MATLAB session. So these are the windows that are visible on our screen. Now before I talk about other windows that we can have in MATLAB, I want to talk something about if we want to see these windows out if we want to see these windows on our screen or not. For this, let me switch to MATLAB. As you can see, there are four windows on the screen. Now, if I do not want to see this workspace window, what I can do, I can click on this layout that's at the top and click at the workspace option. Now the workspace window disappears. Similarly, if I do not want to see this command history window, I can just click the layout and click on the command history and click close option. Now there is no command history window also. So this is how you can make these windows disappear. Now to make these windows appear, what I can do, I can click back on the workspace. Now the workspace window appears. Now you can see the default view of this appears something like this. So you can change the view, how you can view these different windows. You can change it from the layout. Okay, this is how you can make this, this is how you can change the layout and make these windows appear and disappear in MATLAB. Now, what are the other windows that we can have in MATLAB? Now for this, let me switch the screen again. Another window, that we can have in MATLAB is the figure window. Now in figure window, we plot the MATLAB functions 
and variables. For example, I have plotted sine wave on the figure window from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. So on figure window, we plot the variables and functions. Now another window that appears when we click on the help button, a window appears that looks something like this. That looks like this. Now this is called a help window. The user can access offline and online help on any topic using this window. The user can type name of the topic or function and press enter. The help window shows many topics related to that, that function. Now another window that appears when we click on this secret option, new secret option, a window appears that's called editor window and the editor window looks like this. So this is the editor window. This window is used to edit the program files and other editable fi files. Mostly the editor is used to write script files and function files, which contains the multiple MATLAB commands to be ex executed in one click. So on editor, we create MATLAB programs in short. So this is about MATLAB windows that will appear when you launch this MATLAB in your computer system. Now in this next session, we'll talk about how to do simple computations in MATLAB and how to declare variables in MATLAB. So let's stop here.